Hi everybody, this is Nia Filer. I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the week between the 5th of April until the 12th of April 2021. This is where I talk about the celestial soup we're all swimming in, all zodiac signs. So we're heading towards a new moon in Aries that is a very fertile moon. And you know, it's, it's a kind of politically correct saying, damn, you know, it's going to be a hot spring here in the Northern Hemisphere. I mean, <sighs> love is in the air, everywhere I look around. <laughs> love is in the air, and every sight and every sound. Yeah, we're having Venus sextiling Mars. What can you expect? We're having Venus sextiling Jupiter. What can you expect? This is a time that the bubbly starts bubbling. And the flowers start blossoming. And the bees start humming. And the grass flowers. Hi. Nature is so healing in its grace. So Monday the 5th, intense day. Stay away or step away from your feelings. Analyze them. Don't react to, to them, you know, or from them. The evening, Eastern European time, better time for communication. So important talks postponed to the end of the day. Tuesday the 6th we're having this uh, Venus sextiling Mars in the sky it's not a very tolerant day at least it doesn't start that way but it is a fun day because of that aspect particularly Wednesday the 7th is also a fun day we're having the moon on Jupiter sextiling Venus trining Mars I mean the energies the energies um, do something with it damn it you know you call yourselves enthusiasts regarding the skies well the universe works like you know a municipality and a national government it's like if you want to get funded you have we will match your funding you bring your own $50,000 funding and we'll give you another $50,000. This is how the universe works. If you don't do your own 50%, it's not going to come breaking down your door, you know, on the white horse and say, Nia Filer, here I am, you know, the red carpet is rolling down. We've been waiting. It's not going to happen, you know. So at these times that we can actually heighten enjoyment, Heighten satisfaction, heighten the value from ourselves, our lives, our relationships. Don't get sucked into movies on your screen. Go outside. Come on, get. Stop this video and go, go. Go outside. Have some fun. Play with life. Play with life. This is my message for you. Fearlessly, like a child, play with life. Thursday the 8th, let the new in. Be flexible. We don't know the grand scheme of things yet. Friday the 9th, ooh, sensitive day. Mercury conjunct Chiron, the wounded healer. So communications need to be sensitive. Moon squaring Mars, conjunct Neptune. And this is the day we have Mars square Neptune in the sky exactly which is an aspect you know truthfully I don't like very much you know but hey we all have it sometimes and we all have it natally you know at times um, we carry signatures that for us are natural you know but for other people might be you know more more there's more trepidations for what we we know in our natal charts is something you know we don't know it. we don't know re reality any other way you know we grew up with that aspect but so anyway this aspect of Mars squaring uh, Neptune you know Mars is our potency our ability our um, will to triumph and Neptune dissolves all that you know its potency and impotency 
it's powerful against powerlessness and that feeling that I am facing something that is bigger and not totally understood and unforeseen and unexpected and uncontrollable sometimes it's bewildering it causes us to have this Piscean surrendering to the greater force we're under which is exactly what Mars is against so that conflictual angle between them can cause us to want to escape reality whether artistically or by drinking something or utilizing some other kind of substance just be careful you know um, be careful not to self-harm that's what I'm asking you of course not to harm others the evening time is already much more full of inner strength and then Saturday the 10th we have Mercury sextiling Saturn which is something that we could feel a few days after and a few days before as well which really causes us to be much more stable, concrete, and adult with our communications and interactions through life. And, and that could bring a certain consistency into our life and stability into our life, which is good. And then we have Venus sextiling Jupiter, you know, yay! The birds and the bees, it's a great time for love and it's a great time for satisfaction and it's a great time for money. Just don't spend too much of it, too. <laughs> Sunday the 11th. Good day for communications. It's a good day to ask for that raise. Good day for career. As the moon sextiles Saturn and conjuncts Mercury. And then Monday the 12th we have a new moon in Aries. Very fertile, do not say sexual new moon. A lot of activity up in the skies. We have Venus squaring Pluto at the same time, which can cause our relationship with ourselves, with money, or with other people to become more transformative, more sexual, more intense. And it's definitely a time that we can change our financial status and our relationship status. And this could be either for a better place or a worse place. It's a good time to take some risk some risk is recommended not sitting at home idly but not crazy <laughs> un, un, uh, you know uncontrollable risks yeah so that's about everything I had to say no 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 yes well you know Monday the 12th it's a great day it's a great new moon there's a lot of beautiful energies in the skies it's just evening time that needs to have a little more tranquility and centeredness in order to be really good and really positive so that's about everything I had to say this week I want to remind you there's still 30% off on all readings courses and private lessons with me I wish you all strength, happiness. This is Nia Feiler. May we live long and prosper. Amen.